guys. Hey. Right. It is six. No, it's not six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> what time is it? It's 7 19 in the morning. And for some reason, sometimes I'll wake up when my husband is leaving and it's like I just open my eyes the second the door downstairs closes. I woke up at six o'clock, so I've just been laying here, which normally I cannot do this. Just lay here for quite some time. The girls are ready to go outside. They won't leave me alone. So I think it's time to get up. I literally have no plans for what I'm gonna do today. I mean, I know I have to work, and as you guys can probably hear, I still have a cold. Don't, your stinky breath. I still have a cold. I know I need to get some work done. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I need to get up. I need to get some coffee, let these psycho doggies out. Tootie, what are you doing down there? This one's already off the walls. Oh, look how pale I look in this lighting. What is that red mark on my face? I got bit in the arm last night. Do you hear the dog digging down there? <laughs> no, I still have a cold. I gotta get work done. Let's get up, let these psycho dogs outside get some coffee. Okay, we ready? Guys, I feel like I've had this cold for like a week. It's always the worst when I first wake up in the morning. And I don't know if you guys are gonna know what I mean, but like this cold, it has a cough. It's not COVID, I've already tested myself multiple times. The cough that's with this cold is like that super dry, like unsatisfying cough. So you just cough and it doesn't like itch the scratch or anything, you know what I mean? And that's all it is. It's just like a stuffy nose and a super unsatisfying cough. I know this probably does not help me, but I smoked for a long time, you guys. I used to smoke like a pack of fucking mobbies. A pack of Marble Reds a day since I was probably like around probably 14 or 15. I don't know. I love my vape. Point of me saying all this is I know my vape is probably not helping my cold and it is getting better. It's just always the worst in the morning. As soon as I wake up, I always feel like dumb, but then I start to feel better. <laughs> Usually when I wake up and my husband shuts the door, as soon as he shuts the door, my eyes friggin' blast open. <laughs> but normally I can go back to sleep. This morning I couldn't. So yeah, it is now 7.57 in the morning and normally what I'll do is I don't know why I do this, but I just stand here and drink my cup of coffee or eat cereal if I'm in the mood for it, which is a very rare occasion, but, and kind of go through all my social media accounts, respond to comments, all that kind of stuff while I'm drinking my coffee. Why I like to stand here and do that, I don't know. So I'm gonna do that now, drink my cup of coffee, then we'll figure out what kind of work I'm doing for the day. So what I've been doing is literally just staring at my own work. So this is a lot of the time how I try to find inspiration to make new designs, new pieces. I'll stare at my own work in front of me, I'll look through my old Instagram pictures, and I will stare at the glass that I currently have in stock. Like I said to you guys before, or if you're new here, I've described how I look at glass and gain inspiration from it. So here's an example. Say I have, this is going to be a very basic example, but this is the example I used last time, I believe. So say I've got a blue iridescent ripple glass, and this is a beautiful aqua color iridescent ripple textured glass. So I'm looking at this glass. Now I'm thinking, what does this glass remind me of in real life? First stop is water. The ocean. So what kind of pieces could I make with this? A mermaid, seashells, 
anything from the beach, stuff like that. So I look at the glass and try to picture things in real life that have this color. So this is what I'm thinking about right now. And I haven't got there yet. I don't know exactly what I want to do. I've got some ideas. So while I'm working on these ideas, I'm going to do something else that I don't really have to think about. And that is to paint these. So I do want to make more plaques and more trays. So I know that I can just sit down and start painting these solid black and I don't have to worry about what I'm actually doing right now. And while I'm painting them, I can think about what designs I want to come up with. That's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to start painting these a solid matte black. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be thinking about what kind of designs I want to make. So now I gotta figure out what the heck I'm even going to mosaic onto these. I've been trying to think about it this whole time while I was painting them and working on them, but it's just tough because I'm very specific with the things that I like and I'm trying to stay true to that. Let me get my iPad so I can draw it out. This one, I'm definitely gonna do the moon phase just cause it's the perfect shape for it, but is this flattened out yet? No, this one has a little bit of a bow to it so i'm going to let this guy sit with some clamps on it okay that should adjust the bow as long as it stays there for like the next 24 hours thankfully we're not in a rush all right so i'm just going to sit here and try to figure out some type of design to put in this for a mosaic and also you kind of have to keep in mind that you can't spend five days on a design you know what maybe i'll do the design that we just did on that box and i'll blow it up Okay guys, so I finished making my stencil for the larger tray. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Am I gonna cut these out in solid pieces or mosaic the whole thing? As much as I want to mosaic the whole thing, the trouble with that is realistically, people don't wanna pay uh, $400 for something like this. And the amount of time, effort, and money it takes to make this piece ultimately would it end up be worth it would it end up being worth it if i cannot sell it for the amount of time money and effort that i put into it does that make sense so if i can't turn around and sell this piece after working on it for 30 hours for what it should sell as then there's no point to make it that's just the reality of the situation and this is what i'm often talking about when i say that you are um inside a box or restrained when it comes to what you can and can't make if you want to make being a stained glass artist your full-time job. Reality is this one piece is not gonna be enough to pay the bills and this one piece is gonna end up taking so much time that it would be more expensive than what people are willing to pay. Especially right now, people don't have tons of extra money to be spending and you've gotta be conscious of that. Yes, I know, it sucks. It takes the fun out of my job a lot of the time. It does, don't get me wrong, I get it. But at the end of the day, I'm running a business and I have to be smart about it. So I have to decide if I want to mosaic this entire thing or if I want to cut out solid pieces. And it's not like I like it any less because that's exactly what I did with my own phone table, which I know is just saying I don't ever keep any of my pieces. 
That phone table is the only piece I've ever kept beyond the very first stained glass piece that I ever made. Those are the only two things so far now that I've kept. I tried to keep one of my little planters that I made here in a YouTube video before. I've tried to keep a sun catcher, but I end up just selling it off. So anyway, I love how it looks with the solid pieces inside the mosaic. So I may do that. I haven't decided yet, but oh, just finished printing. I was gonna say, we gotta go do something else while we were waiting for this to finish printing because it takes so long to finish printing. Okay, there we go. All right, I think I'm happy with that size. Yeah, there's no way, guys. Honestly, the amount of hours that this would take, this piece would end up being so expensive that one, I'm not comfortable asking my supporters to pay for that, and two, I know a lot of people don't wanna pay for that. Again, it sucks having to look at your art as a from a monetary perspective, but that's what this is. I chose to make this my full-time job, so now I have to decide between doing what I want to do or doing what is going to be most financially smart. So yeah, those are definitely going to be solid pieces and we're going to mosaic the background, I think. I think that's the plan for now. So I'm glad we've got that done. We already know we're going to do a moon phase in this whole piece right here. I think since this is the first time that I'm going to be making mosaics for a restock, I'm going to stick with just these two so I can really sit down and gauge how long it's going to take me because all of my mosaics that I've made so far, I've filmed and that makes it take double the amount of time. So I'm just going to mosaic these two and then make all of my other normal stained glass pieces or whatever else I want to make. We've got them planned out. We know we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to do solid moon phase on this and we're going to do a mosaic background. Same thing on this, and we should probably make them match because a lot of the times my customers like to buy um, multiples of things. So I call all of, uh, I have a very large group of people. I worded that weird and I feel like this is going to sound like conceited or like full of myself or something, but I don't mean it this way. So I have a lot of customers obviously and a big chunk of my customers I call Mackie's Mystic Glass Collectors because they have 20, 30 plus pieces of mine in their homes. So point of me saying that is a lot of the times my customers will come into a restock and buy multiple different pieces at once because they all match or they all have the same vibe or whatever. So I'm going to make these match, probably make them with the same glass. So if one of those collectors wants to come in and get both of them, they can do that and they match. Does that make sense? So again, we're letting this piece sit here because it has to sit in those clamps because that wood did have a little bit of a warp, which I'm not cool with. So we're going to let this sit. We know what we're going to do as far as design. So I'm happy with that. And it is now 224. So I've got to start prepping what I'm going to make for dinner. I've got to get some laundry done. I want to lay out in the sun before it starts setting too far. But in my backyard, I only have a big patch of sun until like maybe 435 because I have some large trees near where the sun sets. I don't, I don't know why I'm explaining this to you guys. Sorry, like I always say, I just start fucking blabbing to you guys like you guys are my friends. I know you don't care about this. Okay, it's 2.30. We figured out these designs. I want to start to prep something for dinner, so I'm just going to start marinating my chicken. Then we can get my laundry done, play outside for a little bit, then we'll come back in and get some more work done. I like to do that. That is one of the upsides of working for yourself. You can break up your day into whatever way you want to. I just got back inside, it is now 4.20. I laid in the sun for about an hour. Now it's time to get a little bit more work done. So I'm gonna do just that. I am going to start prepping these pieces for their mosaics and cut out the glass that's gonna go inside of them first.
All right, guys, so it is now 5.40. I just finished making my husband's special request, but I'm done with his dinner. So I'm probably going to just finish cutting up those last couple pieces and then take a shower because I don't know why I'm surprised by this, but in true military fashion, we just found out that his going away ceremony is gonna be all the way out in like, what did he say, the Cape. So we're gonna have to go to bed pretty early to get up pretty early. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut those last couple pieces and then take a shower and then try to start to wind down. And again, you guys know me by now, I'm probably going to take a shower and then start working again, but we'll see. I'm gonna try not to do that. I've been really trying not to do that lately. Alrighty, so what time is it? It's 8.40 at night now. I just finished cleaning, locking up the house, getting coffee set for it to automatically go in the morning, all that normal stuff that you do at night before bed. I did get the entire sun cut, so the only thing left we have to do for this piece is cut the mosaic tile backgrounds because Realistically, scraps are not going to cut it as far as having enough of the same colored glass to fill this entire space, I believe. I mean, I will double check my blues in the morning, but I think I sold all of my blue iridescence besides the ripple. But, okay, so that's set, ready to go. We're pretty much good to just start working first thing in the morning once I come in here, because I know exactly what I'm doing. So, finally, it is time for bed. I can get my bowl of ice cream and go lay down and watch some TV with the hubby. So I'm gonna do just that. Alrighty guys, like I said, I am just getting ready to crawl into bed now. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I know today's video was super chill, very relaxed day of me just kind of hanging out and working. But like I said, with everything going on right now, it's kind of difficult for me to really focus on anything super intricate. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. Definitely comment down below. Let me know if you guys are into these kind of videos and I will absolutely do more. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you did, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!